I'm at a gypsy. Uh, and so <clears throat> are you, in your mind, like just as the, you know, a, a creator, like essentially you're like a, a, you're creating this thing from nothing. Like this has been in your mind for years. How far ahead are you in your mind as to where you are right now? Like for me with the podcast, we're in this situation. This is what's real. This is what's actually happening. That's what people are seeing right now. But in my head, I'm like, I'm fucking years down the track. I've got so many ideas and there's so much that I think can be implemented and, you know, different things that I want to do and goals that I want to reach. And, and it's based off shit that's actually real right now. So it's not all just pipe dreams. So what's that look like in your head? I need to be careful here because you will think I'm completely crazy if I tell you. I'm I married. will not. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, uh, first we're going to, make Stark the market leader in motocross. That's going to happen quite fast. Uh, second ambition is to sell a million motorcycles per year. Uh, that will take a few years. Um, while doing that, we will be focused on technical development. We are a technology company. This is the focus. So we might be supplying technology to other companies. Um, so we'll do that in parallel, maybe even outside motorcycling. Um, and then I think it's interesting to look like at transport long term. You know, what's my my biggest goal in life is always to build a flying car because I believe it's the most optimal level of human transport. Like if you look at it, how we're traveling today, <clears throat> it's completely ridiculous. We're traveling in a 2D network on the surface of the earth, which is the roads, you know, and it's very much restricted to how those roads are being built. You have crossings, roundabouts, and all kinds of, you know, red lights, etc., which is making it incredibly inefficient. And you're traveling at a quite slow speed, and it's still very dangerous. So it's just, it's not really a good system. But, you know, if you could travel in 3D, which means you could use different altitude la layers, uh, I wouldn't go down in the earth because then you're still limited to tunnels. But if you're traveling in the air, you can basically always travel in a straight direction to where you're going from A to Z. You don't need to go to a train station to another train yeah. station and from that station to where you're going. Now you would travel directly where you're going straight and maybe, you know, replacing a car, maybe you can travel in 300 kilometers an hour or, um, you know, what would that be? 180 miles per hour. Yeah. Uh, in, instead of driving an average of was it 40 miles per hour or 60 kilometers an hour or something like this so that that would be the average journey would be about 10 times more efficient and much safer and a much nicer experience because you know you could be flying at say three to five hundred meters altitude which is you know fantastic uh, uh, viewing <laughs> of, of the yeah. earth basically yeah. so I think that 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 is my um, my biggest goal, uh, but it's not certain that we will do that with Stark because I wouldn't risk the company. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we are focused now on motocross. We will be focused on street motorcycles and developing a few different technologies that we are planning to. And maybe at some point we build flying cars. That would be uh, the, the real long term ambition. But. Uh, yeah, that's that's for sure not certain. <clears throat> so, with the expansion of of Stark going forwards, how do you see? Like, do you have any kind of roadmap of like the areas that you think it will kind of expand into? Like, what the logical progression is? Uh, the different categories of vehicles, or yeah, and I guess the way in which you you kind of see it making sense. Um, I, I, I'm not sure I understand your question correctly, but I mean, first now we're going into motocross, obviously, um, yeah. globally. So we are now, we're building up a dealer network. We want to work with the best dealers in the world. We're building up that dealer network now. So that when we launch our future motorcycles, you know, we can do that together with our dealers and be, you know, locally available all over the world. This is the plan. So uh, I think we have... 700 dealer requests right now and we have maybe signed contracts with 40 dealers or so really? across the world so this is a huge part of, of building that 
Yeah, so we will have a few hundreds uh, or maybe a couple of thousand dealers across the world in a few years. And uh, next bike to launch uh, will be the Enduro model that will come a bit in the future. Uh, same bike, but with lights, uh, slightly adaptions, of course, but very similar to, to the VAR. Uh, then we will develop, we have started the development of three street bikes. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. And and so, so that's what, gonna come as well. Yeah. So what uh I guess what style, like is it same thing, like you go into like the racing side of things first, like a similar mindset or <clears throat> well it's the same mindset that when we launch each vehicle, we have to believe it's the the leader in each category, that it's the best vehicle for that category. And you know, motocross is so much performance other categories you know other things will matter more we still want to be performance leader but it could be that you know comfort convenience uh is also super important um so it's going to depend on which category but each vehicle that we launch our ambition is that it should be the best bike in that category including all gas bikes uh and uh, we are very design focused so we want to build uh, I mean, beautiful motorcycles, beautiful objects that are not just, you know, if you look at motorcycling today, it's, I think, very immature design with everything is very sci-fi. There are angles all over the plates, place. Uh, it's graphics that are very aggressive. It looks like kids' toys, all of it. And it's yeah. all in incredibly plastic. Like everything you touch is plastic. It's like very cheap solutions that are not well integrated. Uh, so we want to also elevate the level of the quality impression and the design, the feeling surrounding motorcycles. We want to make beautiful objects that are not only cool to the nerds, but cool and beautiful to any person that would see it. I mean, if you would look at it like, if you show a Ferrari to 100 people, yeah. 98 of those will say, wow, that's a beautiful product, you know, because 100%. it is. It's really yeah. beautiful. But if you show... Um, Yamaha R1 to a normal person and you say what do you think they don't know even know how to respond they because the motorcycle industry is yeah exactly it's just it's it's a mess it's, you know it's, it's it looks like a, a toy for a kid uh, and we would like to develop and um, you know beautiful motorcycles beautiful objects uh, that you know anyone would you know appreciate and and like then so that will also be a focus of course and increase perhaps the quality impression uh, our ambition is to use less plastics which will also elevate the quality impression of the bike i mean everything you touch today on a street motorcycle or motocross feels super cheap i mean just yeah. the buttons on the handlebar the throttle uh whatever it is it it is not a nice quality standard so we want to elevate that as well that's our ambition if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.